Good day, grade 11. I'm glad to be speaking to you again. Today, we are first going to do some corrections of your homework, and then we are going to do um, exponential equations. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, so today is 26 January, and we are looking at corrections for exercise 1, page 5, uh, in your platinum textbook. And this is the question at number five. Simplify um, 12 to the power of x plus 1, 27 to the power of x minus 2, 18 to the power of 2x minus 1. So uh, I've written down a few things that I want you to always consider when you simplify. Um, uh, expressions with exponents. So firstly, if you see numbers like this, which are not prime numbers, you have to write them in prime factors. So 12, the prime factors of 12 would be 3 times 2 squared. Prime factor of 27 would be 3 to the power of 3. And Prime factors of 18 is 2 times 3 squared. Okay, so we write that and then we just copy the exponents as they are there. Then we are going to simplify by um, multiplying in. So this is 3 to the power of 1. So it's going to be 3 to the power of 1 times x plus 1. So it's 3 to the power of x plus 1, 2 times, this one here looks like this, 2 times 2 to the power of x plus 1. So if you multiply then that 2 in, you're going to get 2 to the power of 2x plus 2. Make very sure that you know that the 2 also has to be multiplied with a 1. The next one, so it's 3 to the power of 3x minus 6. This one here, so this is 2 to the power of 1. So it's going to be 2 to the power of 2x minus 1. 3 to the power of 2 times 2x minus 1, which then becomes 4x minus 2. So this is what you have at the end of the day. Okay, now the next thing that you consider is how many terms in your numerator and your denominator. Because that is going to determine how you handle the rest uh, of the sum. So here I've got one term in my numerator and one term in my denominator. That means I can write my prime factors and I can just simply add up and minus the exponents for each prime factor. But this is only when you have one term in the numerator and one term in your denominator. Only then. Only when you have one term in your numerator, one term in your denominator, can you add the exponents for each factor. So here I see 3, and now it's going to be x plus 1, plus 3x minus 6, and then I'm going to say minus bracket 4x minus 2. And so this is going to become minus 4x plus 2. Always remember minus bracket. The 2 is going to be 2x plus 2. And then minus bracket. 2x minus 1, which becomes then 2x plus 1. 
then we add up the exponents, we simplify further, and this is what we get, 3 to the power of minus 3, 2 to the power of 3, and then the positive exponents, they are the numerators, the negative exponents go to the denominators, and that is your answer for this one. Let's have a look at the other one that I wanted you to see, and that is exercise 2 on page 30. Exercise 2 on page 30. So, right, number 30. So this is the question. The question is simplify without a calculator. Simplify without a calculator. That means, uh, yeah, and then they say the answer has a positive exponent. But without a calculator means you are going to use prime factors and you are going to be cancelling out prime, prime factors. Okay, but in this case, I don't have numbers. So now I don't have to consider prime factors. But let's have a look at this one here. xy over x to the power of minus 2 plus y to the power of minus 2. So firstly, what you're going to do is these x, the, the minuses here means that the x, it's going to be fractions. So I write them as fractions because immediately when I write them as fractions, I can go forward. I can get the LCD for the fractions, which is going to be x squared y squared, and then I write it as y squared plus x squared. So if you look at the question like this, there's nothing that you can do further unless you write it as fractions and then the moment you have a fraction with a plus, fractions that you are plusing or minusing, we know that we have to use the LCD. So this is what we get then. The XY just stays where it is. Then we know that here yeah, we have division by a fraction. And we are going to change the division to multiplication by the reciprocal. So that means. Um, we are going to have this one over one times, and then the reciprocal, the denominator goes to the top, the numerator goes to the bottom, and then I multiply out. So I'm going to get x to the power of 3, y to the power of 3 over 1 times x squared plus y squared, which remains like that. And that is then your answer for this question here. Let's have a look at number 15. Now number 15, I'm just trying to manipulate everything here. So let's have a look at number 15. Number 15 has exactly the same, just give this one a chance to focus, there you go. So we still have to simplify with out a calculator and show with positive exponents. Okay. So firstly, let's have a look what we have. Everything we have here are prime factors, or prime numbers. Now we consider how many terms do we have in the numerator and the denominator. And we see here we have two terms. That means we have to factorize. So the only way for us to cancel and to simplify is if we factorize. So, so we have considered our prime numbers. Everything is in prime numbers already. Then secondly, we look at how many terms in the numerator and the denominator and if we have more than one term, 
we are going to factor off. So this is what we do. We write these as we, we, um, we separate the exponents. So we're going to say three to the power of X times one over three, because this one here is three to the power of X times three to the power of minus one and three to the power of minus one then becomes one over three. Okay, so now I have a common factor and I factor off three to the power of three x. So in my first term, I'm going to have three to the power of x times one. And then in my second term, I'm going to be left with one over three, a third. Okay, so now I'm simplifying here. I'm writing this one first on, um, in the numerator just because I want you to see that now I can cancel. So I've got three over four over three. If I add one plus one over three. So again, I've got division and that division with fractions, that means I'm going to multiply with the reciprocal, going to look like this, times three over four. And then my final answer is then going to be nine over four. Okay, so let's have a look now further at number nine. And number nine, we are still at exercise two. Number nine looks like this. A to the power of minus two plus. Okay, and again, we can't consider prime factors because uh, we don't have numbers, we have variables. So our next consideration is then how many terms in the numerator, how many terms in the denominator and we see I've got three terms there. So immediately I know I'm going to have to well either factorize or there is something else that we can do. Um, I'll, I'll tell you now why why can we not factorize because this a to the power of zero is actually equals to one. So I cannot factorize, I cannot factorize that. But let's first write this over A, like separate terms. Because if I do that, if I go from here, I know most I can write it like that. So now instead of simplifying there, I'm going to expand it to three terms and in that way, I can cancel out eight before I put them together again. Okay, so this is a handy way to cancel and to simplify. So this is then going to be, if I simplify here, one over a to the power of three, because that a of minus two goes to the denominator this one goes to the denominator and that one becomes one over a. So now I've got three fractions and I've got pluses. So that means LCD. And my LCD is going to be a to the power of three. So that means it leaves me with one plus a plus a squared. And that's my final one. Right, I want us to go on now with the next part. So let's just do this quickly. I can move my book here. Like that. And I'm also going to try to get in the text. So we are here. This is our heading 26 January exponential equations, page 7. On, in your platinum book. 
going to put this one here as well. So here we are. So we are going to look at work example one and work example two. So for this one here, the rule that we are using, they're writing it there for us, but I copied it here. If a to the power of x equals a to the power of y, so I have the same base, then it means that x equals to y. Now, what is very important here, this is how it works. Say, for example, I've got x, uh, no, let me get, use a number, 3 to the power of 2 equals 3 to the power of x. So here you can see immediately that x is going to be a bit darker. X is going to be 2. So if the bases are the same, then the exponents are also the same, but only then, only then. So let's have a look at work example one here. I've got 2 to the power of x equals 4 to the power of x plus 1. Now these are equations and we are going to solve x. So in exactly like we did with the simplifications, prime numbers first, prime first. So 2 to the power of x, 2 squared to the power of x plus 1, exactly like we wrote it with the other one, 2 to the power of x, 2 to the power of 2x, plus 2. So now we wrote it with the same base. So that means that exponent is equal to that exponent. Same base, therefore exponents are equal. Okay, so therefore I can say that x equals to 2x plus 2, and that means your x equals to negative Okay, let's have a look at example two. So here we get eight to the power of x plus one and uh, equals to 32 over four to the power of x. So you have guessed it, we are going to look at prime factors first. So the eight here is going to be two cubed to the, and then to the power of x plus one. So I'm going to write it like this, 2 to the power of 3x plus 3, then 32 is 2 to the power of 5, 4x is 2 squared to the power of x, so that is 2 to the power of 2x. The next step is going to be, we are going to get the basis the same. So here we are going to say the exponent is 5 minus 2x. So now the bases are the same, and now we can say this is equal to that one. So that means 3x plus 3 equals 5 minus 2x, and x equals 2 over 5. So your homework for today is going to be exercise three on page seven. Do the, the exercise for me. And remember, when you do the exercise, check the answers in the back of the book. Your work, when you do the work, you check what the answer is. And if the answer is correct, then you mark it with a pencil so that you can easily see afterwards with which questions you had a problem when you um, prepare for your exam. Okay, that's it for now. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Let me just try to get this
Bring this up for me. I'm going to stop this and see if I can I'm just going to um, okay, I'll talk to you tomorrow.